Does this team simply have a expect the unexpected mindset given all the circumstances that have been thrown your way so far this season? Yeah, we've had to deal with some funny stuff. So, I mean, but in all seriousness, I think um, we really have to try and focus now. And uh, I think we've had enough time now to kind of get used to each other and everything. Still, that's going to take time, obviously. But I think now we have to focus on trying to get results and, and trying to put some, some good form together before we come home. Going up against the U.S. men's national team teammate in Breck Shea, is there any bragging rights on the line this weekend? Of course, there's always bragging rights. So, you know, you're going to want to put in a good performance, obviously, against him. And at the same time, keep him at bay. He's a good player, and uh, he's a guy we're going to have to look out for. How do you feel that your relationship is coming along with Sebastian Javinko? Good. I think Seba is growing every game. Um, he's getting more comfortable around the group. His English is getting better. Um, and, uh, you know, we're all happy to see him doing well, and hopefully he continues. You haven't finished the seven-game road trip yet, but you know heading into a, a, a six-straight road game, looking to avoid a fifth-straight loss. Um, when is it no longer early in the season? When is the urgency hyped up? You think? Yeah, I think it's I think it's getting there, especially for us before we come home. But I think you also have to look at you know it's tough with the road trip, so many new players. You never go to a familiar environment, you know, so that's difficult when you're when you're putting together a new team. But at the same time, it's what we're faced with. And so Orlando's a big opportunity for us. It's a good team, but, you know, it's, it's, it's obviously a good opportunity for us to, to take some points and obviously come home with some good form. How do you feel you're adjusting? I mean, obviously coming back uh, from Europe and then you're getting back to MLS where the, obviously the distance traveled uh, is a lot larger than, than at home or where, where it used to be. So is that taking a toll on you is it, or the team not getting the results you, you, you want? I think most of the guys are used to it. I mean, obviously it's not fun, but... You know, you know what to expect. It's not an excuse. Everybody has to deal with it. So in that regard, it's, it's not a real big deal. Everybody has to deal with the same issues. When you're faced with adversity like this, do you feel that you change anything in your routine or how you prepare for a game or just keep things status quo? I think it's, I think, you know, you're, you know, adversity is one thing, but I think if you look at the five games we've played and the things that have come up with them, with the red cards, you know, giving up goals after 15 seconds, you know, and then the, or 20 seconds or whatever it was, a lot of circumstances that don't happen all the time. So I think when you cut those out and we can finally hopefully play a normal game in Orlando, I think um, you'd like to think we'd come out winners. Is there ever a mindset like, it seems like everything seems to go against you guys early in games. Is, there, is it hard to break that mindset that, oh, we're gonna concede early, oh, whenever the team has the ball, they're gonna score. I mean, it seems like it's getting to that point where it, you just you can see it early and you're gonna see it often, you know. Oh, I think it's been tough early on. There's no, there's no, it's not a secret. But I think now is a real test for us. I think we have to really come together now as a team and, and get out of this rut. And the talent is there. Everybody knows that. But it's about the mentality now, you know. And uh, you know the characters in the team have to come out. Myself, Michael, Sebastian, and we have to to take the reins a bit. And you know we're not defenders, but at the same time we can still dictate how we defend from up top by being aggressive and not making it easy to play. And we have to take the onus on that and, and take more responsibility from that from that part. How are you settling into the offense? Are you getting the number of chances you want? Um, I think it's been up and down for us, but I think that has to do with how we start games. I think at the end of the day, when you're giving up two goals in 20 minutes, teams sit back a bit, and there's no there's no real you know urgency to get goals on their side. And they know that they're playing against some good attacking players, so they sit back, and more numbers come behind the ball. So I think if we can start a game, and like I said, have a normal game in, in terms of where we're, we're safe at the back and nothing crazy happens, I think you'd like to think that we can open teams up and, and create chances. So you see it as a bit of bad luck uh, causing some of the defensive problems? I, I think so. I think it's, I'm not saying it's our defense. Our defense has played bad. I think the circumstances as a team, we haven't defended well. So we, we knock out those issues, and I think we can break any team in this league down when, it's, uh, when, we, when, we, when we keep the game at a point where 0-0 we have a chance to attack.